individual beef wellingtons. So we have literally exactly one and a half pounds of mushrooms to make four. They cook way down. I use stemmed wiped cruminis and maitake mushrooms. And then I get a pan nice and hot and I melt six tablespoons of butter for one and a half pounds of mushroom. I know that sounds like a lot, it isn't. And then we're going to add that as soon as the butter foams, as soon as the butter melts and foams, we're working over medium high heat in a nice hot pan. And we're going to brown the mushrooms with nothing added, no salt. For the meat, all I did was make sure they're similar shape and size. For the pate, I bought one eight ounce terrine of mousse. For the puff pastry, I have an egg that we're gonna turn into a little egg wash. So I have a brush, an egg. If a little bit of shell goes in, remember shell attracts to shell, just dunk the shell back in and it's like a magnet. It'll go right back up. And we're just gonna beat this with a fork and add the teeniest splash of water and that'll be our egg wash. While the Wellingtons are in the oven, which will take 20, 25 minutes, I have blanched broccolini with shallots and I added a little garlic for John. We'll just dress this with olive oil, salt and pepper and that'll be our side dish. Okay, so our mushrooms are starting to cook down, but these have been on here a while. I gotta tell you, it takes a while. So we're letting them brown fully and become really fragrant and meaty. But meanwhile, we're gonna go ahead and caramelize both sides of our meat. So we're gonna put our fillets seasoned with salt and pepper, pat very dry, and we brought them to room temperature for 20 minutes. We're gonna put them into a very hot cast iron skillet, and we're gonna let them cook about two minutes on each side. We just want to brown them. We're going to leave them extremely rare. They're going to finish cooking en croute inside our puff pastry crust. Okay, our mushrooms are brown. Now we're finally going to add our salt and a little pepper. two large finely chopped shallots, and our thyme. And I'm turning the heat down a little, just to sweat out those shallots a bit. We are ready with the two minutes on each side, these guys, our brown filet. And we're gonna add the sherry to this, about a half a cup, and let it cook out. And then we're gonna cool everything. Okay, look how much the mushrooms have cooked down. This giant pan was filled to the top. All I did was roll out the puff pastry, which came in a package, okay? On a touch of flour on the work surface here. And I took about two ounces each per portion. So one container, eight ounce. This is what it looks like when you buy it at the store, okay? All I did was cut it into four pieces and I manipulated it to be these little discs here, okay? We have the cooled meat, so a little Dijon mustard on the top, a teaspoon or so per, and I simply spread it around with the back of a spoon, a little dollop. So now we're gonna take about a, a quarter of each of this, take the meat, and see what I'm doing? You put the the mustard side down, gently press into place. And now we're going to wrap the beef carefully in the pastry. Then you flip and press. So now we're going to repeat this and pop them in the oven at 400 degrees center rack, egg washed, you can make designs. You can add some stuff to the top. You can just cut air vents, do whatever you want, but egg wash it, put it in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. So here's our roast broccolini. I'll put a little of that alongside. Here's the drum roll. The regular steak knife is going right through. 